Hi, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Mental Mosaic with Kiki Garcia. So as you know, I love to read and I love to buy books. I have a ton of them. I also love to go to the library and I was at the library recently and this was one of those books that was just kind of up on a shelf. They had it displayed and something spoke to me to take it out and uh, and read it. Then I did. And now I'm actually going to buy my own copy of it because it's pretty amazing. It's called The Beekeeper's Wife from Lynn Hinton. And I think I, I honestly believe something draw, drew, brought me to this book. There was a reason why I was supposed to read it. And it's a great story. And after I read it, I noticed in the back, there's some discussion questions as well. So here's what I decided to do. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about it right now. And hopefully you go and uh, either buy it or maybe go take it out from the library and it speaks to you as well. And then I'm going to make videos about the discussion, the discussion questions as well, because I just think it's so important. This book, I, I don't want to give too much away. So if you are wanting to read it and you don't want too much information ahead of time, although you could probably read it just by reading the little summary on the back. Um, go buy the book and stop this video because I don't want to ruin it for anyone. But what The Beekeeper's Wife is about is loss. And that is such an important subject to me right now because I am really trying to figure out what my new normal is now that my parents passed away. And I am trying to I don't want to say fill the void because that will never happen, but I am trying to cope and find tools to get through. And this book is a great tool. Um, it really was. It is such a great story. And it's all about a woman who loses her husband. He passes away and how she's dealing with it the first year after his death, which is what they say the hardest, although I don't think it gets easier too quickly, personally. Um, but it just taught me so much. One of the things was, it's okay to let go a little bit. I was never the person who, pleaded with my parents when they were passing, don't leave me. Because I knew that they would be in a better place once they passed. As hard as that was, I knew I did not want to ruin their journey by pleading with them to stay with me because I felt like that was very selfish. And I think this book kind of made me realize that I did make the right decision on that as, as hard as it was to say, you know, it's okay, go. With my mom, I was telling her to find her mom. With my dad, I was telling him to look for my mom because I knew he missed her so, so very much. And um, that's not easy because you don't want your loved ones to leave you. You want them to be here with you forever. And um, I made that decision. That I was not gonna make my dad feel guilty or bad, or I didn't want him to think I was gonna break without him here because that's not the person he raised me to be. And I think that's one of the reasons why this book just spoke to me so much. It really is an amazing book if you are going through grief right now. So like I said, I am going to make more videos because I do want to go over the discussion questions. I actually want to think about them and, and really write down my, my answer and my discussion. And then um, I think what I'm going to do is just make more videos about it 
about this book and about the questions and then we could kind of share our story because really my whole point of making this video, my YouTube page, my podcast is so we could share our stories because I think the more we share our stories, the more we realize we're not alone and it's okay to miss our loved ones because I know I do every single day. There are some days when I pick up the phone 10 times because I just want to call my dad. I just want to tell him what's going on or what I saw that day or what experience I went through or what's happening with my career. There's so many times when I just want um, my dad to be proud of me. And I know he is, and I know he's right behind me right now. I know that. I know he's always with me, but there's something about picking up a phone and being able to talk to the person you love um, that is just different. I just miss his voice. So before I start crying more, um, let's do this. Let's make this our book club book, okay? Beekeeper's wife, Lynn Hinton. I'm actually going to return this to the library so I don't get in trouble. And I am going to buy a copy for myself. And then we are going to discuss it even more. So hopefully you're going to read it too. If you do, make sure you drop me a line or send me a message so I know you're on board. And let's do this together. Let's get through this grief that we are going through or it doesn't necessarily need to be uh, someone you lost either. We can grieve all kinds of things. Uh, it's just a process. So let's read the book and talk about it, okay? All right, guys, I'll talk to you soon.